What's up guys, everything Apple Pro here. And today, after a long overdue update, Apple has finally refreshed their iPod Touch lineup. It really has come as a surprise because I didn't expect an iPod Touch to be released without any announcement. It just came, showed up in the Apple Store, and that's it. So with this new iPod Touch come several new key changes, and they will make a difference for the iPod Touch, certainly. However, as far as the design goes, it's almost the same as the previous fifth generation iPod Touch. That really cool wrist strap feature that was present on on the back of the iPod Touches is now gone. That's a feature I really regret that had to disappear, but in place of it, there come some great new changes. For one, there's a new eight megapixel sensor on the camera. There's a new processor, the A8 chip with an M8 motion coprocessor. And overall, this thing is gonna be really speedy. This is the first time an Apple A8 chip has been paired with a four inch display. Having a smaller display with a really powerful processor could make for a powerful punch when it comes to gaming. Now, as a result of that new a megapixel camera sensor, the new iPod Touch 6th generation is now capable of 120 frames per second slow motion video. Now, there's no word yet on how much RAM will be present in the new iPod Touch, but it will have the new 64-bit Apple A8 chip used in the production of the iPhone 6, and that means a 10 times faster GPU and 6 times faster CPU, as well as the new metal architecture, which means we could see a huge, huge bump in terms of gaming and processing ability. Now, like I said, design and display have not changed. However, there's also a new M8 motion coprocessor, which means that the iPod Touch will be the perfect device to take with you when it comes to running. No, there's no GPS, but it comes close with really accurate readings. There's also a new 802.11 AC chip in terms of a wireless on the new iPod Touch, which means you could experience up to three times faster Wi-Fi if you have an AC compatible router. Now, although we're not seeing any major hardware revisions, it's great to see that Apple's finally delivering some love to their iPod Touch series. It's been over 500 days since we've seen a significant update to the iPod Touch, not just removing the camera and lowering the price. This is finally some great hardware additions. So with a new eight megapixel sensor in the new iPod Touch 6th generation, we're likely to see a bump not only in the resolution, but also when it comes to video, you can now record in 120 frames per second slow motion. There's a couple new features and overall, it'll make a great shooter to keep in your pocket. I know a lot of people use their iPhones, but the iPod Touch is aimed at a younger crowd or people that don't want a cell phone contract. So it makes sense to keep it updated with all the latest camera technology. I mean, why not? It's great. It's a very light type of camera with a great resolution. Now, when it comes to the front facing camera, nothing really has changed. It's the same megapixel cal, uh, pretty much same camera. Of course, it's nice to have, and it's great to finally have a camera on the rear of the iPod touch as well, while paying the same price. And my only regret is that Apple removed that wrist strap feature on the back of the device. I mean, that made it for a perfect camera shooter that you could loop around your wrist and not have to worry about dropping stuff like that. And now that it's gone, it's a little bit sad for me to see that go because this made it a perfect camera. But now with that gone, I mean, we're going to be dropping your devices left and right. Prepare for the onslaught of broken iPod Touch screens, Apple. Thanks a lot. Now, of course, there are three new awesome colors. So one is to match the iPhone lineup, and that's gold. There's another pink option and a very nice blue color as well. Now, this iPod Touch will be available in just one day, so you can go ahead and order that. Just $200. I mean, it's cheap. It's got everything you need, and it'll run iOS 9 like a champ when that's released later in September. The new color options are compelling reasons to get these. I mean, they're beautiful. I love the new three color choices, and overall, it's looking up to be a great iPod Touch. Nothing significant, but a great update for people that do enjoy the iPhone without the phone part. I mean, it's got everything you need, a camera, a very nice display, it's great for fitness, it's got everything you need, the perfect little gym device. Now, alongside this new iPod Touch, Apple did also launch a new series of iPod Nano and iPod Shuffle devices. The only differences there are the new color choices. They're the exact same devices, just a few new color choices to match the iPod Touch. And a word about the iPod Nanos, I've seen Apple going backwards ever since the fourth, fifth, and sixth generation of the Nanos. I mean, those were my favorite devices. They had a camera on it. They had everything you need, the click wheel. And now they went backwards and removed features from the iPod Nano. So uh, I hope Apple gets back on that with the next generation. But overall, great color choices. So guys, there you go. That's the iPod Touch 6th generation. Definitely a worthy contender to the 5th generation. A great step up in terms of hardware and great color choices. So I have ordered these guys and I will be reviewing them in just a couple days when they do arrive. I'm really excited to see how they'll compare with the 5th generation. Anyways, guys, be sure to subscribe. Have a great day and hope you enjoyed this video. Enjoy the new iPod Touch 6th generation if you do grab it. Peace.